the day. Today is Wednesday, March the 25th, and we get to pick up here in Proverbs chapter 10. And what a blessing and what some lessons we get to learn here as we pick up in verse 12. And he says this, hate stirreth up strife. Hate stirreth up strife. <laughs> Just look at our country today. Look at all the strife that's going on in our country. You want to know why strife is in our country? Because we're showing hate instead of love. Because we're, we're on so many different degrees of um, differing opinions about how life ought to work, about who's right and who's wrong. <laughs> the left hates the right, and the right hates the left. And you can say, well, I don't really hate them, but the way you act proves that you do. The way that you act proves that you do. Yes, I, I don't like the way that some people act and the way that some people do things, but uh, it's, it's not going to do good to keep just slandering and tearing them down. That's not going to do any good. That's hate. And God says that stirs up strife. Well, look look at us. Look at us. We're, we're in strife like never before. We can't even decide on uh, how to help our country out right now because we differ in so many different ideas. And we if, if you differ in... The way I think, I don't like you. And that's just the end of the story. And here we are. Hatred stirs up strife. But look what he says. But love covereth all sin. Love covereth all sin. If we would just love one another as Christ loved us, if we would love one another as, or, and do unto others as we would have others do unto us, what a difference this would make in our nation. But right now, all we can do is stir up strife. All we can do is stir up strife because we'd rather hate than love. And that's just a reality that we're facing right now, which is why I believe God's on us so hard because we're not, we're not united. We're divided. We're not the great United States of America. We're the great divided States of America. There's so many different opinions on what's right and what's wrong in our nation, all because we're seeking our own wisdom, human wisdom, man's wisdom. It is, man is God today, not God. God is not God today. And when people even mention the name of God, you can't mention the name of God and then do what's opposite of the nature and the character of God. And so we got so many different God ideas about who God is and what God requires that we don't have, all we can do is hate on one another rather than love one another. God's bringing a rod to us. I believe that with all of my heart. He says in verse 13, in the lips of him that hath understanding, wisdom is found. Do we find much wisdom today? <laughs> no, we're not finding much wisdom at all today. What we're finding is we're finding foolishness. It's tearing us apart rather than pulling us together. And right now, more than ever, right now, more than ever, we need something to pull us together. Well, that something is going to be the wisdom and the understanding and the love of God. It is the only thing, the one and true God, the God of the Bible, the God who had came down and to, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. We got to give up some things uh, and, and, and for others if we're going to see others come and, and, um, and be wise and have understanding. But he says, in the lips of him that, that hath uh, understanding, wisdom is found, but a rod is for the backside of him uh, void of understanding. A rod is for the backside of him that is void of understanding. A rod brings correction. How many of y'all remember as a child, of course, not done today, because God forbid you can't whip your children, because that's called child abuse. But a rod is needed to bring correction. There has to be some kind of pain implemented if we're going to bring correction to the human heart because the human heart will not just bring correction by sitting in a corner. <laughs> there has to be some kind of discipline. Well, my mom certainly learned this lesson with us and that uh, she tried many different things, but there was one thing that we really, really uh, paid attention to when it came out, and that was that wooden spoon. My mom had a wooden spoon. And buddy, look at here. When she got a hold to the backside of those legs with that wooden spoon, let me tell you, you stopped doing whatever it is you were doing. Now, I may have fell into some other kind of <laughs> some other kind of uh, misbehavior, but I can tell you what, I didn't do that one for a while. And I believe God's bringing a rod to the backside of our country because we're not. We ought to be the great United States of America, but we are the great divided states of America right now. Everybody has their own opinion about first of all who God is. And how you can worship that God. Well, there, the one and true God says there ain't but one God. And thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt make no graven images. Uh, they all, you better even be careful of how you speak his name. You better not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Well, we're doing that all over our nation today. We're certainly trading the one and true and only God in for whatever kind of God we want him to be. And, and, and we've made all kinds of idols. God. 
In his gracious love and kindness, just like our parents, has brought a rod to our backside. And I wish we would repent. I wish we would recognize that we're walking in error and start loving one another instead of hating one another. I wish that we would speak wisdom, wisdom that can only come from God, the one, the one who's, who's made all things, the one who spoke all things into existence, who, 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 who's made every molecule, molecule upon the face of the earth. He can give us wisdom. He can see us through this, but we're so divided on what even is right and wrong right now. Should we be quarantined? Should we not be quarantined? Should we have stay, safer at home rules placed out or should we not have safer? Do we need this? Or do we need that? Blah, blah, blah. It's just this back and forth. Bam, 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 bam. Why? Because we're seeking man instead of seeking God. We're given hate more than we're given love. And it is, it is tearing us apart. It, as a nation, we are more divided than we ever have been before. A rod is for the backside of him that's void, but we are void of understanding. But there is a source of understanding, and that is what God is trying to get us to see. I believe with all of my heart, he's put the rod on the backside of the great United States of America because he wants us to be united, not divided. He wants us to love one another, not hate one another. He wants us to be able to have a heart and lives that are full of wisdom that leads us in the right direction rather than in the wrong direction. But this, my friends, listen, will never happen unless we do what the scriptures have declared that is right because this is God's lever. Uh, this is God's instruction manual to life. The Bible, B-I-B-L-E, basic instructions before life ends or basic instructions before leaving earth. Well, certainly right now people are worried about leaving the earth. Certainly people are worried about life coming to an end, but we're so divided on what that means, we can't. We can't properly communicate the right kind of love. Well, here's the right kind of love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We need to be sharing the love of God more now than ever before. We need to come together now more than ever before. And as the punishments went in my life as a child, the punishment started out small. But the harder I kept pressing against the rule, the harder the discipline became. And I believe we're in a light discipline right now because I read the book of Revelation and I read the ending of the story. And the, um, the ending of the story says that if we think that what we're experiencing now is bad, we have no idea what bad is. There's coming a time upon the earth like never has been nor ever will be again. It'll be the worst time the world has ever seen. This is just a tip of an iceberg to get us to turn to him, to seek wisdom and understanding from the God who's created us and given us this country, for us to love one another instead of hating one another, for us to come together rather than being divided. This is our time. Do will we learn or will we continue to press headlong into the rod of destruction? So I pray today that these words encourage you to seek wisdom from above, to love your neighbor as yourself, and to walk humbly before your God. And so I pray you go forth today mightily in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and I pray that you are encouraged.